Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from Divine Tarot. We are Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. And I'm here to do a card to read for you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I am. I'm having a pretty good day. Um, you know I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, and it is a timeless read. So if this is your reading, you will know from the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head. No other reason. So if you have to switch the um, the genders and or the roles, go right ahead. That's not a problem. Just remember, it's a general read. Okay? It's not personal. So there's thousands of people here. Not every read's going to be for you. And even if it is for you, not all of it will resonate. So the parts that don't resonate, they belong to somebody else. So leave it alone. It's not advisable to try to make it fit into your storyline. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm picking up intuitively. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some one end or none, as we said, and then we bring it together at the end. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. I'd be truly honored if you haven't joined this uh, channel, if you did. For those who have, thank you. Uh, thank you for all your love and support. You mean the world to me. You are my family, by the way. I love you. So let's see what's up. Before we start, I'm going to talk about love and hate. Um... If you ask me, love and hate are, you know, emotions that require the same amount of energy. And I think that hate is just misplaced love. Um, not being able to love or, or, you know, direct that love elsewhere. Because the worst thing, in, in my opinion, is not being able to love. You have a lot of love, but you can't. For some reason, you can't. Whether it's trauma, whether it's, you know... Their, whomever your, your your topic of love or your object of love is, is not around. For whatever reason, that hurts more than not being loved. And I know because of my whole life, um, I didn't feel very loved. I didn't, people around me always took but never gave. But that's, I digress. Um, for me, it's not being able to love. Because it makes me so, so happy being able to love, nurture. You know what I mean? Um, but it's misplaced emotions, misplaced love. Um, take, for instance, a spiritual person. Um, if you do them wrong, they're not going to hate you. They're going to nothing you. Because that is the complete opposite of love. Indifference. No emotion. Um, hate isn't the opposite of love. No, it's not. It's just misplaced love, if you ask me. So there's a lot of people in, you know, that emotion right now in this around the world. There's a lot of hate going on. Um, if if you hate, if you feel hate towards a person, if you're listening to this, ask yourself truly, 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 dig down deep inside. Ask yourself why you're feeling that that way about a person is because you don't love yourself. Because that's also another part problem. Um, why people hate? There's no self love. You know, you're you're hurting. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just. I believe a lot of us need to really take stock as to why we hate, why we love. Um, even, you know, you feel like you're in love or you love others. Why? Why is it this love that's, why do you feel this way? Is it lust? Are you mistaking lust for love? Are you mistaking what you gain from another as love? Codependency? You know what I mean, right? If that person wasn't in your world right now, would you be able to still make it? So if you say no then why are you with this? Chances are that you're with a person is, is for codependency reasons. Or maybe not. I mean, you can very well love them, but you're also codependent upon them for whatever reasons, right? But that is also an indication where you need to realize, okay, I'm codependent on this person. I love this person, but I have to find a way to make it on my own if things should go belly up, okay? Whether it's a breakup or it's, you know, a loss. It does tend to happen. Can you stand on your own two feet after they're gone? Yeah, you'll be heartbroken, but that's not what I'm saying, right? Why do you love? Why do you hate? We have to search our souls, and hopefully we, we come up with some answers, right? And we can switch things around. Why expend all that, that energy on hate? I'd rather spend it all on love. <laughs> I love you guys. I really do. Let's see what spirit has, shall we? We're starting with the god goddesses and <laughs> Kaliak. Endurance. You have a lot of endurance. It's wonderful. That's the overarching energy. The bottom of the deck is we have hubris, arachne. Um, so I'm just acting out of ego. Okay, they need to do some shadow work. 
because hubris, that's what it means. It's ego. That's the underlying energy. Um, I tried, I, I looked up how to say this name. Guabensex. I believe she she is a goddess uh, from Haiti. And she brings a lot of wrath. So there could be some storms coming through. I mean, literal storms, okay? She is um, very powerful. She's able to call other deities, apparently, to bring in hurricanes and, you know, uh, tsunamis, whatever, okay? But there's wrath here, the wrath of God, hate. Maybe it's affecting your health. Yes, when you carry hate within yourself, it, it can affect your health, okay? I'm gonna. So watch your health. I mean, if you're hating somebody at secrecy, they might hate you in secrecy. <laughs> um, but there's a storm brewing, okay? Um, as I was saying, definitely, if you hate, if you carry that hate, that can cause, literally, can cause cancer, okay? Um, that's why it's best not to hate, okay? If you don't want to be in this person's life or person's lives... Try to drop that hate. Obviously, it's coming from deep inside your being. Um, why do you feel that way? Why are you expending that much? You know what I mean? What is it you're holding on to? Why? Just search your soul. Because you shouldn't hate. Okay? If you uh, somebody hurt you, the best thing is to nothing them. To move on with your life and do, to have the best life possible. And, you know, like, show them, hey, I'm better. You know, I'm better than this. I'm not lowering myself down to your standards or your level. You're not, you know what I mean? Not that you're better than other people, but yeah. The best revenge is having a great life, right? A beautiful life, a healthy life. Showing them what um, doing the right things can give you in life, right? Endurance, love, happiness, wealth, wealth of health and or money and or, you know what I mean? Living right. Kaliak, endurance. Why is this here? Thank you. Oh, prosperity begins. So, well, somebody's not going to be prosperous here. They, I'm picking out, okay, not this, okay. Not every inheritance breed is for one person, okay? We're all, it could be inheritance, life insurance, could be family money, could be money between um, couples, you know, separating, blah, blah, blah. Or it could be a boss withholding. It could be anything. A large amount of money. Or somebody, you know, take it as a plus. Large can mean different things to different people. But I just heard, yes, somebody was withholding money and you lived in poverty and or you struggled for a long time. Uh, that's going to end. It's their time to struggle here. Bottom of the deck, suffering and silence. And you did. Okay? Nine. Um, you did suffer in silence. Nine of swords. A lot of burdens. You took on other people's burdens, possibly, not knowingly, but um, because you love them. If it's family, if it's if it's a partner, a friend, you took on their burdens, and you only added more burdens to your back by um, not allowing them. And I'm not blaming you. Okay, I did the same by not allowing them to learn their lessons. You took on their karma, possibly, but they wanted you down, down and out. It made them feel good. Okay, yeah, you sacrificed a lot for these people, or they tried to sacrifice you. They, you struggled 12, right? This hangman, you struggled. They didn't want to let this go. They wanted to lord over you. Made them feel bigger inside because obviously they're small people, okay? They didn't want to let go. They didn't want to, you know, change things. You sacrificed a lot, though. What'd you get in return? Jack shit. You could be a divine feminine, a mother, and or there could, could be a pregnancy. They want you to shut up, okay? And I hate that word. I said it yesterday, but I, I just heard it again when I saw throat chakra in reverse. They want you not to talk about it. Sacral chakra, you're creating something new. You're a high priestess, maybe male or female, doesn't matter. So you could be out there, a spiritualist of some sort, or highly intuitive, and or maybe you didn't speak for a long time but now you're starting to speak you're being creative in the way you do so there's a parting of ways again too in reverse they were maybe doing magic on you they were shit talking you but it's a parting of ways okay it's a um, karmic relationship two cups in reverse you don't trust them it is what it is okay you know we all know when somebody tries to do us dirty don't we we don't like to admit it sometimes. It takes us a while to do something about it. Like for me, I'd always say, well, you know, it's them. Uh, I'll suck it up. It's a, it's, it's, 
It's a labor of love. I see where it's coming from. They're in, insecure. You know, I'll just let them feel that way. You know, I, I'm, I'll be the bigger person. And I did this over and over and over again, only hurting myself. Because obviously, I had a lot of love to give. And I did love myself as well, but I put myself last. Okay? And now I'm putting myself first. No more. Kaliak Endurance. Prosperity begins in reverse number one. One in reverse is the magician, right? In reverse. They were two-faced. Very manipulative. A lot of illusions here. Deception. I'll clarify this, please, Spirit. I gotta fix my wobbly table. <sighs> I gotta find the Allen keys. Gold digger, cloud chaser. They want your money being used. So they used you. Whether it's money or not, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can give them, they used you. Give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. So you let it go, I believe. Are you going to, are you just seeing, in my situation, I had to turn my back on almost everybody. And because uh, the divine told me, you have to break free. You have to detach. You have to want to do so because that's how you grow. Um, but also to see how important you are to these people. Are they going to fight? Do they want you back in, their, in your life? Are they going to straighten up and do better? Because change behavior is an apology accepted. I, I won't accept an apology unless it's changed behavior. So maybe this is, yeah, they're spying on you. Maybe now they're suffering in silence. Okay, because if you're a divine feminine, I'm not saying you are not, or divine masculine, <clears throat> the minute you take your energy away, I mean, anybody... If you're of the light, you carry the light, and we should all carry it. Whenever you turn your back on these people, you're taking away some light. And they're going to be suffering in silence, okay? They don't know how to... Number one, you, don't, you, 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 you can't carry the light if you're doing stuff you shouldn't be doing. Okay? It dims your light. They need to be cleansed. And we have communicate. So somebody's watching you. They want to communicate or they're wanting you to communicate with them. Because they, I, I, Yeah, it's a narcissist. I was just going to say they're acting out of their ego, pride, like it said in the, in the other card, right? They want you to communicate with them. So they're trying to manifest this, I think. But, you know, they don't have any manifesting powers. They don't have the light. But they could be very um, manipulative. And they're trying to finagle some sort of communication with you. They're a narcissist, okay? Somebody you were committed to in the past or they want a commitment out of you so you can ca caution. Spirit's saying be careful. Yeah, they're going to confess, but are they going to confess everything and their part in it? No, they'll probably tell you about everybody else, what what role they played in it. <laughs> Give you a little, a little bit of them, you know. Uh, you made me do it. You provoked me. Um, <laughs> no truth, though. Okay. They're going to sugarcoat, sugarcoat their, their position, what role they played in whatever this is. So we have Kaliak Endurance. Prosperity begins in reverse, number one, and Gold Digger. What was the other one? I give it time. Hmm. So they thought, oh, I'll give it time. They'll forget about what I've done to them, and I can sneak back in under the radar. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, there are. A lot of them are listening. Okay. Uh, these karmics will come and listen to try to thwart off any kind of um, trouble in the future. But do you think that the divine would allow us to start uh, tell them? You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, whatever's coming to them is coming to them. They can't stop it. I remember saying that to a few people already. You can't stop this. You're not going to stop it. Kaliak Endurance. Prosperity begins in reverse number one. Gold Digger and give it time. I'll just sneak back in and just live off of them some more. No, I don't think so. I'll just take, take, take. They won't notice. They're so loving. Yeah, house. There's something to do with a house, okay? Relocation at home. They could be kicked out. They could be homeless. It's a hobo sexual looking for a place to stay and or they stole property and or a uh, home. Coins. Luck and money. That's what they're looking for, okay? Um, I do believe before the real shit hits the fan. They're going to try to come back in because they know they're going down. They want to be under your umbrella. Protect me. Protect me. Maybe if, if I give you those doggy eyes, those poor, poor little eyes, um, you'll feel sorry for me because I stole property and money from you and I, you know, I tried to take everything from you. Well, let's see how that will work. Mountain. Challenges and achievements. You climbed this mountain. You overcame 
like a trooper. And I'm not saying you're a trooper for that, but I guess a lot of us had no choice. Right? We went up against a, a giant and we won. Good going, David. Somebody's name could be David out there. I don't know. So we have crown. This came out yesterday, the day before. Success and pride. Crown. You're going to be crowned. They want to take your crown. You could have a... Um, your crown shocker could be lit. You're highly intuitive. You have direct connection with source. You're higher elevated. Of course, you could have a direct connection with source. You've done that work, right? Um, somebody's very prideful, or they're accusing you of being prideful, but you have every right to be proud. You're not prideful full in the negative sense. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. You endured a lot with no one and nothing. Okay, stability and growth. You are rooted here. You are planted. The divine's making sure of this. Congratulations. Heart, love, new love, heart. New love, true love, self-love, okay? You come from, your heart chakra's wide open, scarab, nourishment and transformation. They could think, oh, who is this person? We were able to take advantage of this person in the past. Why can't we now? They must have changed. What the fuck? Putting on an act? No, they're not putting on airs. They're not putting on an act. This is who they truly are. They found... They went it within. They did the work. And that's who their true authentic selves are. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not I'm a doormat. I'm not a pushover. That's what this person's saying. You can't do this to me anymore. It's self-love. You know, I've redirected all the love I've given you. And I'm loving myself now. That's what Father wants. It doesn't mean that you don't love other people. You do. But you put yourself first now. You're not putting yourself last. And that's the way to do it. Congratulations, okay? Because these people were taking advantage of you. By you not loving yourself first, they were profiting. How dare you love yourself first now? That's what they're saying. You've changed. You're different. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Who the fuck do I think I am? Me. <laughs> and I'm so, so very gr grateful to be me. And I'm proud of what I've accomplished and had to go through. I made it. I made it. That's what you should be saying, okay? So we have Kaliak Endurance. Prosperity begins in reverse, number one. Gold Digger. Give it time. House and coins. It's coming. Sorry about the background noise. That's the uh, recycle truck. That's a message here, please. So that, yeah, that just made me think. that Somebody wants to recycle this relationship or commitment or whatever this is. What can I do to save it and still profit? Uh, how about change behavior? How about doing better? How about stop lying, stealing, being, you know, sneaky? How about that? Be transparent. Be truthful. Thank you, Spirit. Seven of Wands in reverse. Wow. Somebody's feeling defeated and overwhelmed. They didn't stand up for you. They didn't fight for, you know, defend your honor. They made accusations about you that were unfounded. You're not fighting with these people. See, you know when somebody's really done, whether it's a relationship, whether it's family, friend, when they're no longer fighting. Okay. Two plus two is five. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm going to go my way. I'll, I'll see ya. Okay, usually I say, oh, I'll see you next week, or I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll see you after work. You just see ya. You know what I mean? Not fighting. Why should you? They don't fight for you, right? Yeah, Empress in reverse. They, this could be you. They devalued an Empress. Or this is somebody you're dealing with. This is very karmic, a very karmic person, very toxic, uh, greedy, selfish, self-absorbed. Um, could be promiscuous. But it's somebody that wants power. They want to control everything around them. Uh, they're very controlling. And bottom of the deck is family. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Losing long-term stability or long-term relations. Could be losing a lot of money here. And or this is some sort of family money. Okay. Generational wealth. Could be an inheritance. Life insurance. Could be anything. Okay. They were playing games. They were playing games upon your back. And you had to, you had to shoulder the brunt of, you know, the downfall of, of all of this. Whatever... Um, what am, what's the word I'm looking for? Whatever byproduct of their deception is, is you, you shouldered it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Somebody lied. They were jealous and vindictive. They're very vindictive. Okay. They're vile. They're spiteful. They're bitter. Um, hateful, hateful people. They stole a home 
or they said you were homeless or they changed your address, a mailing address so they can receive some something that belonged to you and acted all innocent in front of you. Um, they wanted you homeless. They said you were unstable, but it says home and, and money. So I'm thinking it's an inheritance, uh, some sort of family money. They wanted you out of it. They wanted to profit. Okay. They're heading towards instability here. Okay. They could have wanted to devalue you, said you couldn't handle your affairs, will control the money, but yet, where are they? If you are really that mentally unstable, emotionally unstable, where are they? Why aren't they here trying to help you? Because it's bullshit. You probably haven't spoken to them in a long time, but yet they're so concerned about you, they must handle your money. What's that say? If they're so concerned about you and your welfare, where are they? They're not around you. But they're around your money, right? Around your property. Hmm. You should think, don't it? Queen of Swords in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Where's this going? Ooh, King of Swords in reverse now. So it could be lawyers, professionals of some sort. This is really, really skeety. Or it could be family members, okay? Both, li both liars about a home, property, your stability, a marriage, um... Pathological liars, user, abuser, cold, calculating, and cruel. Very abusive. That page of wands, no communication. They throw rocks and hit hands. They lied about you. Wow. Caused a lot of drama, a lot of upset, right? They felt entitled to lie, to not communicate with you. They did, it. They did this all behind your back, Ace of Swords in Reverse. Now they're getting let go. They have to let go of this. It's too challenging. They're angry. Or you're not talking to them now. So you foiled their plans, maybe? Take it as bad. The Divine's got your back, though, okay? He's, he's, he's directing you how to get through this. The, your spirit team's directing you, telling you what to do and say at every given moment. Not that you're a marionette or a puppet, but to weed your way through this, yeah, you're going to do it. Flawlessly, I heard, okay? Perfectly. And it's also going to show others that the divine is real and that you do have a true connection with the divine. No, you're not crazy because you because you speak to God. <laughs> you're not a zealot. You're not, you know, pushing it down people's throats, blah, blah, blah. Let them find out on their own whether the divine uh, is real or not and to their own chagrin if they don't go there. It's up to them, right? You're not speaking to these people. They could have done shut up spells. Okay. You know, they get a, cow, a cow's tongue and, and wrap it up and bind it on you, but it's not working. I'm telling you, they don't want you to speak truth, but you are speaking truth. You found a way to do so. Some creative way to speak some truths. Congratulations. And overcome all adversity. Wow. Yeah, they weren't expecting that one. Mm -mm, three of ones in reverse. Yeah, this was an injustice at what they've done here, okay? Their plans fell through and everybody's seeing it for what it is, an injustice. Because you are speaking your truth to a swords in reverse. They're seeing what wasn't seen before. You're not mentally conflicted. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. There's, you know, you, you spoke your truth. You were speaking your truth here. You made a decision. You let these people go, right? They could be saying, well, why isn't so-and-so around anymore? Why don't they care? You're going through such a hard time. Because they are. They're going through a lot of karma right now. Um... The reason why so-and-so is not around is because uh, they know these people are getting their karma. I'm not going to stick around. <laughs> I'm not going to take on your karma anymore. Yeah. So some of you might want to come towards you, not a cups, to give you an offer, love you up, I don't know, to apologize. Be careful. Ten of swords in reverse. This could be asking for forgiveness because they know you have proof and evidence they underestimated you or you have proof and evidence of what this was. It's something to do with an investment. And they know they're going down, so they're going to try to sugarcoat it now. Yeah, it is. Two of Wands in reverse. They're stuck. There's a sudden departure, sudden arrival. Or they don't know. They don't know what to do, right? Um, they're stuck. They could be trying to block you from speaking truth or someone speaking truth to you. They committed a crime here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Um, somebody's unstable and insecure, greedy and selfish. Very um, codependent, clingy. Uh, they're blocking somebody's stability, blocking, trying to block the fact that they're in trouble financially and or they stole, they committed a crime, a financial crime here. King of Cups in reverse was really malicious, male or female, 
He's really malicious, um, ruthless, self-absorbed, emotionally manipulative, emotionally unavailable. Um, at this moment, they could be a big, big, big drinker. But at this moment, they might not be in, in control of their emotions right now. They could be sick. They're unhappy. They were doing stuff in the dark. They, they don't hold the light. Okay, sun in reverse. They didn't want to stop doing something. Okay, uh, that's death in reverse. Um, they didn't want things to change. They were possibly living a life of luxury off of you, off your back. If there's an inheritance or family money that was due to come to you, they could have changed the address and started cashing checks and or finagled a court um, proceeding saying that you're unstable. They, and they're getting money supposedly as the executor and or the um, family member that's what, looking over your money. So that's how they've been making their their... That's how they've been paying their bills. That's what they've been living off of. Supposed lies. Saying that you're too unstable to, to control your own money, but you haven't even seen that money. You're living your life too busy trying to make ends meet on your own. And you have. Flawlessly. They could never do that. So, yeah, they're trying to keep it under wraps still. Don't tell. Don't tell. Oh, I'm not happy. Don't say that. You know what I mean? They feel so entitled. I'm picking up such entitlement. They're not entitled to anything. Yeah. New beginnings. You're going to be taking some action. You have new beginnings. You have growth and expansion in your world. They can't block you anymore. Yeah. You're moving forward. This is conscious awareness. Um, they have to bring back balance. Or somebody's going to be bring back balance. Radical acceptance. Somebody has to take accountability. This is universally driven. This could be the police and or some sort of authorities coming towards you. Or they want to... They can't block your forward motion here. You overcame a lot. So if these people or you come towards them, whatever. They left you out in the cold at a lack and a loss. They have to bring balance to this. They're going to be left in the cold, uh, out in the cold now. They're, they're feeling sorry for themselves. Wow. I can't go on that boat. My ships aren't going to be coming in anymore. They threw out that love that you gave them. If it's a relationship, they wanted quantity over quality. They spat at the Holy Grail, at the Golden Chalice. Oh, well. Now their feelings are over themselves. They had no integrity, loyalty, or honesty. They could be trying to intimidate you. They're scared because they were partying it up with your money. Oh, yes. Pleasure seekers. Yes, yes. They were hiring, uh, possibly hiring covens. Getting their friends and or secret societies or secret groups to come in after you. Trying to do shit. Trying to get rid of you. We did see the death in reverse. They can't take you out. So what next? If they were conspiring to get you gone. Oh, I have an international call coming. Yeah, right. And a lot of um, people trying to get into my energy. <laughs> Back the fuck up. <laughs> so somebody's afraid here. Be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Not you, but them. The karmics. Yeah. You hurt their pride or their ego, maybe? They're acting in their pride. I mean, they have to drop the hubris. Death out. Yeah, it's a fallen angel. They, they're they scared because they said you were crazy. They said you had addictions. They went to extremes. Inappropriate behavior. They have no peace, harmony, or contentment where they are. They're the ones with the, uh, with the addictions. Okay. Um, they, there's no reconciling. No conflict resolution. There's no way out. I just heard there's no way out for them. You are highly intuitive and psychic. Okay. You're not giving your energy or your emotions to these people anymore. See that drop? She's going, nope, not for you. <laughs> self-love, self-love. Okay. Um, you're still, you still lead with an open heart. You're still emotionally balanced, stable, mature. Highly intuitive and psychic. They were planning to do something physical to you to gain this money. They made you um, a target to practitioners, covens, secret societies, as well as, well as your family. They scapegoated you so they could have, so they have no blood on their hands. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They wanted these people to take you out for them so they can make money. Piece of shit. Queen of Cups in the upright. Where are we going with this place? They were watching you or they're being under surveillance. See? Now that goes. I'm going to pop it back in. It was sideways. If it's 
meant to come out at will again. So yeah, somebody's had a lot. They followed somebody else into the cold. They were greedy, materialistic. They were jealous and lazy. Codependent, clingy. Can't trust this person. Or maybe that's what they said about you. You're unstable. You can't handle your affairs. I don't know. Take it as wise. They were very greedy. Okay. Very greedy. Nine of cups. They conjured something they can't handle. If they did magic, they cannot. They conjured a djinn or something like that. Some sort of demon. Um, and they're asking themselves, why would he go over there? Why is it here? I can't handle it. <laughs> Well, maybe this person's spiritually high ranking. Do you ever think of that? They have jurisdiction. They have authority. Yes, they do. Even over these things. They're stuck in their head. They're trapped. Um, just feeling caught up here. They could be facing jail. There's just too many um, obstacles. They can't overcome. Nine, nine, by the way. Oh, no, that's eight. There's just too many obstacles for them to overcome. And they're stuck. They're feeling trapped. They could have wanted to lock you up. Their wish fulfillment was to lock you up out of greed, out of jealousy. Wow. They could have been wanting to... I just noticed that in this card. See how the moon... It looks like they're either blowing something into the crown chakra. So you're getting your, your downloads. and Or they're losing their spiritual gifts. They were maybe draining you of your spiritual gifts. They're going to jail. They're going to be arrested. This is awareness, illumination. You let go and you let go and you surrendered it to God. You're not struggling with this. No, no, no. You're not wasting time, energy, money on this. If it's a court thing, then they're no longer wasting time. They could have wanted one continuance after another to keep it stalling, to keep them making money. But they didn't realize, okay, when it ends, what am I going to do? Uh, how is it going to end? Because eventually the, the courts or this institution is going to find out you're not crazy. There's been fraud. There's been forgery. There's been doctoring of documents. There's been lies. There's been perjury. Time is up. Oh, oh. page of cups. They're having an emotional outburst. They're going to have an emo They are going to have an outburst in the court. When they see the police coming in with handcuffs, they're going to flip right out. Archangel Michael just stepped in. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Now, I don't know if you've been around me uh, for a while. You know he only steps in when there's a hard topic to, to discuss or if he wants to um, impart something, if he wants to speak through me and or when it's really um, something to... I can relate to this and it's painful. So he comes... And he, uh, he shores me up, you know, gives me support. Now that's true support. Family, friends that didn't do that or exes, they weren't there to do it for me. So I'm sure you guys can relate. So we have the hangman in the reverse. You want to jail. Conflict, competition, chaos. Wow. It's a group of people. They're arresting a group of people. See, they're going to have a big melee in the courtroom. <laughs> Just adding more charges, if you ask me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need more charges. You know, that would make me so happy. No, I forgive you, but it doesn't say that I don't want your comeuppance. I do. Yeah. You led with love. Okay. They're very upset. They're very upset. You pulled your energy away. They're very upset that you love yourself enough to say bye-bye. They're hiding and cloaking the love. They, oh, I should have loved them. I should have showed them some love. There's going to be a lot of tears. Why do I feel like this is happening today? They're going to see how much the divine loves you and your spirit team. Your ancestors, the divine, the angels, how much they truly, truly love you. I know for me, and if it's for me, it's for you too. Okay, you are my soul tribe. We all can relate. There's differences, yes, but we can all relate to these feelings, how people made us feel. The divine has counted each and every one of my tears, and he vowed the wrath of God to make them cry ten tears to everyone I cried. Now, that's up to him, because vengeance is his, okay? 
Ace of Cups in the upright. So they're very upset that you love yourself. There you are. Keeping that love for yourself here. Mm -hmm. No, but you're redirecting it elsewhere, but it's not going to them. Okay. Oopsie. Yeah, well, that kind of spun around a few times, but this is going through a dark night of the soul, and they need to, okay? You put your past hurts behind you. Oh, they're emotionally unstable. No, they're not. You're very stable. You have that big cup of love there. You stood your ground. The divine is protecting you. This is divine protection, seven of wands, or no, six of wands. You're out in the public eye. That's what it is. They said you are emotionally and mentally unstable on public record to get this money. But you're out in the public, uh, public eye. Victory, success, reward, recognition. This money is yours. Okay. And for reverse, it was corrupt. Okay. So you got family members. You have exes involved. You have ex-friends involved. You have strangers. Professionals that were making money off of you. It's corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. They tried to say. They got paid to say you were involved with vice and corruption. Yeah, there's conscious awareness. You're going to be taking um, action against these people. You're going to be suing the ass off of them. The ones that aren't going to jail, you're suing. Okay? You're done. You're co-creating with the divine. The divine is directing you. The magician in the upright. You have all the tools you need for success. The divine is directing you to do and say what when the time comes. Okay? You're going to take some action. And they know it. They know it. Yeah, they're scared. So it's a scandal. This is scandalous what they've done. They said you were mentally unstable. This is corrupt. Yeah. Trying to stall your destiny, stall your future because they were gold diggers and cloud chasers. It's a reversal of fortune, a change of direction. They are scared because now they're getting karma. <gasps> oh no, oh no. They're being investigated, right? You are by yourself. Well, not really. You had the divine, you had your spirit team around you. Oh no, they're investigated here. This is an empty victory. Na 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 na. <laughs> That's how juvenile they are. This was born out of jealousy, pettiness, and cruelty. And they abused you a lot. They don't want them being investigated. They're gonna find out just how much abuse and cruelty they, 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 they inflicted on you. Everybody involved is taking on losses here, okay? It's an empty victory, it's a defeat. This is proof and evidence here, okay? They underestimated you. You're the queen of wands, male or female. You stand in your power. You're very confident. You go your own way. You're very independent. You had to be. You learned how to be with people like this in your life that were never there for you. Now they're worried. They put a lot of burdens on your back. Na nah, nah. It's come back on them because they betrayed you. Not at once. They forged your signature. They impersonated you. They felt entitled to take whatever it was that was yours. Even sent some asshole to love you up, to destabilize you and take you out. Yeah, turn your world upside down, right? To keep the money going. Keep you so distracted that you don't know what they're doing in the background. But somebody's doing some, uh, maybe you started some tarot, but that could be it too. Um, they want you offline. That's not going to happen. Anyway, somebody paid to to do all kinds of spell work on you or because you're online doing something spiritual, they, oh, you must be doing black magic, but this is a lot of lies and illusions. They got paid. Somebody's gra um, gathering some information about this and they're, they're afraid here. This is ruin, tower in reverse, okay? They got somebody overseas to do some death spells on you possibly and or, king of pentacles here, and or do come physically and do it towards you. This is an ending here, okay? King of Pentacles, he can't get at you. Somebody's angry. They can't block your work. Oh, wow. They're getting karma. <laughs> Poor judgment here, okay? They're, they're going to be judged harshly. Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, and lack of accountability. They're in debt. They have to pay back this money here, okay? They're unstable. What they did was wrong, was not balanced. Seven of Wands. Yeah, they wanted to attack you here. They made accusations about you that weren't true. They're feeling overwhelmed and um, defeated because you're innocent here. It could be family here, okay? This is somebody from your past. Everybody from your past, possibly. Yeah, they all got bought off here. This is uh, temptation, bri bribery, uh, blackmail, cover-up, hopeful, wishful thinking, illusions, a lot of confusion, high priestess, a lot of lies and secrecy, right? You could be a high priest 
priestess, male or female, you're highly intuitive. You knew what was going on. Yep. You don't, you're not going to be t telling them anything. You're not talking to them. Anyways, I'm going to... One more, and we'll see how this goes. So this proof and evidence. You go your own way. You're independent. You have a lot of confidence. You're bold. You're a warrior. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I heard. And they're too tired to keep going with you. Yeah, they bore fal false witness against you, and they didn't give you your money. Wow. Whatever they tried to do, it didn't work. It took a huge gamble and lost. So this King of Wands, whether that's you or not, I don't know. You could be a spiritual leader or some sort of leader. They protect and defend. Um, they do the noble thing. They have honor, ethics, and morals, okay? They're very in, um, innovative and creative as well. You have a counterpart, okay? Um, but they're seeing through the illusions here. Now it's in the reverse. All that glitters is not gold. Running out of options, don't have a choice. Somebody's coming clean here. They got caught. They have to speak the truth. See through the illusions. You detached. You're not of the devil. If they cried, tried to say that, oh, you're a card reader or you're a spiritualist or you're a Satanist and you're doing spell work on them. No, it's them doing spell work on you. You are able to send it back or you are highly protected. That's why they're getting the backfires, right? And that's why they're going through whatever they're going through. This is all, yeah, black magic here. This is spell work. You're not, you're not dark, okay? This is all a big lie, a big scam. What I tell you, now it's in reverse. They were doing magic on you and shit-talking you. They wanted to take you down. Now they're sick. They're feeling, I don't know, maybe they're feeling a little bit of um, shame. They're not getting a wish fulfillment. They don't have divinity. They're, they, if they were protected at one point, spiritually they are no longer. Well, this is unstable here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This was fraud. They really treated you poorly. The truth is coming out. They're heartbroken now. Oh, Ain't that funny how they're heartbroken now. Yeah, they're having an outburst, like I said. Yep, Page of Swords, a lot of lies, right? Spreading gossip and, and slander about you. They, they were petty and cruel. They were bullies. And they, they could be still stalking you, like cyber bullying and, and gang stalking you online, if you work online. Yeah, trying to slow down your, your channel. Yep, they could be shadow banning and or trying to uh, flag your channel. But it's over here. It's over. It's over. You're digging in your heels. You're not going anywhere. If they want you offline, you're not going anywhere. If you're putting down these burdens, you're not carrying their burdens, okay? <laughs> they're abusive. They're committing crimes. They're bringing, they're bringing other people into danger by doing this to you. You're highly protected. So if you've got trolls and haters and spellcasters that are doing shit on, to you online, they're going to find out you're foolish. Reckless, careless, and foolish. It's a permanent, profound ending for them. Bad news is a backfire. Your karmic's here. It's all one-sided. You're not fighting with them. Why would you? You're not doing anything with them. You probably don't even pay attention yet. Look at this magic in reverse. They, bought, they, they partnered up to do so. Bad judgment. They're getting back some karma. Yep, they're very unstable right now. They're going through it. This is bad. This is a nightmare they're going through. King of Pentacles, right? This is all about greed and jealousy and laziness and codependency. It's a tower. It's all coming down. Wow, they've been stopped. They can't get away from this. Whatever they summoned, they can't get away. This is karmic. Okay, this is... Um, they celebrated too early. They're going to court here. Okay, third party going to the court. This contract or something working together. They colluded here to work together to bring you down this is um they scapegoated you this is the end of a family or a group you're too protected here you gotta let this go they're angry i don't care mm -mm -mm. they spread some bad information about you you're not going back to the past they, they were playing something physical here against you or your children not a wand something's happening here really quickly they did something too quickly they wanted to keep this money. They were greedy and selfish. So it could go different ways, but we're going to leave it. I mean, we already know this story, but it's what's happening to them now. It's not what they did to you, what's happening to you. It's what's happening with them now. Kaliak, you've endured a lot, and you deserve blessings upon blessings. Arachne, hubris, okay? They had huge ego. A lot of pride. 
big great pride before a fall, right? Prosperity is not beginning for them. One in reverse. It was all illusion. Trickery, magic, illusions, manipulation, deceit. You suffered in silence. Nine of Swords. They put a lot of burdens on your back. Now it's theirs. Okay? Let's see if they can do it silently like you did. I doubt it. Everybody's got to know about it, right? They're gold diggers and cloud chasers. Give it time. They want to communicate. They're, they're spying on you online if you are online. They are spying. You don't have to be online. For certain certain people out there, they do. They have a channel and or they have online presence of some sort. But they're spying on you. They could be, get, you know, setting up some fake accounts to friend request you. <laughs> like, that's so obvious. You know what I mean? It's just, the, I, I have proof, like, for the last four or five years has been going on. Fake requests. Uh, shamans and, and uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Doctors. Anyways, these spellcasters. Um, getting a hold of me online, even Illuminati trying to get a hold of me. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Coins, luck and money. It's coming towards you. That's what they would try to get out of you. And they possibly did get out of you behind your back. You not knowing a home property, right? Relocation and home could be mortgage fraud. Could be anything. You could, something could have been left to you and all oh, as manager because they can't manage it. You had no, not, you didn't have an idea. That they did this behind your back. They were living off of you. Okay, mountain. Challenges and achievements. You climbed this mountain. Okay, congratulations. You're at the top. Crown. You're going to be crowned here. Success and pride. Congratulations. They wanted your crown. It ain't going to happen. Okay. End of. Not going to happen. I just heard your spiritual ro royalty. It's not going to happen. Where in their sick minds do they think this was going to fucking play out for the rest of their lives? It's karma time. And I do know that divine has kept you busy. Helping you heal. Helping you maybe establish a new um, means of income. That's truly yours. You're building a, a firm foundation. And he was helping you do this while they, this was being played out. Just to get your mind off of it. Um... So you don't bring down your 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 vibes because you are co-creating with him. He wants the very best for you. Okay? Same with your team, your spirit team, your ancestors, your the angels, they want the very best for you. How are we ending the read? These spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. And any of these people, if they ever belong, still belong in your life, then the divine will, will let you know. Okay? Remember, an apology, a true apology is changed behavior. And not just for a week either. Until they think they get their foot back in. No. They have to prove themselves. So, High Priestess of Water, you're truly in intuitive. Highly, you, you remained emotionally balanced and they tried to say you weren't. You could be a mother. You don't have to be. You could be a father as well, okay? Um, a parental figure that nurtures, that loves. This is unconditional love. Highly intuitive and psychic. You, you took your power back. You bossed up. Yep. High priestess. Male or female. Highly intuitive. Wow. Look at this. Two, intu two cards indicating intu intuition. You're a warrior. You are a spiritual warrior. Spiritual badass. This was probably one of your missions and you knew it. That's just a job. <laughs> they were lying about you. They were doing magic about you. They said you were doing the magic. Bullshit. Bottom of the deck. Oh my God, you are high ranking. High Priestess of Spirit 7. Universally driven victory. Bringing back balance to unbalanced situations. Wow. And look, chaos is there. They wanted to bring chaos towards you. It's it's right in their backyards here. It could be an actual storm. <laughs> high Priestess of Air. You spoke your truth. Or you're going to be speaking your truth. You're, you are intuitive. You're in, in, intelligent. What's more is you're emotionally intelligent. Um, you're very wise. You have wisdom that other people don't have. And that's what, and like I said, the, the emotional intelligence is, is very high here. You're very balanced. Six, that's the lovers. You made the right choices. 
you used your higher wisdom and made proper choices here. It's a card of decisions and consequences. So these people are reaping the con consequences of their decisions, just like you had to, right? There's always going to be a reminder. Don't forget, 28, this is destiny and, uh, and fate. Like in my case, sometimes, yeah, you're human. You get, you go there, you get upset. And the divine and or the angels have come frequently. They've done this to me and reminded me it is the mission that's most important. And I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you for correcting me. Get me back on track. Yes. Okay. You signed up for this in the, in the ethers. Okay. Now your time of living, because I said to father, I want to live. I don't want to just exist and be a lesson. I want to live. So he says, and you shall. <laughs> so this is a reminder. It's, it is a mission, but yet it's fate and destiny. Um, the universe is backing you up and this wheel of fortune is spinning. You needed to go through this to propel you where you needed to be, to be a, the most service to the divine. This is just, this is peanuts right now, okay? You're going elsewhere. You're very individual. You're very uh, um, rare. You're a rare breed. Your ancestors are helping you, okay? 47, that's justice in tarot. Congratulations. Can't make it up. They tried to deny you justice. You're an earth angel here. That's a temperance angel. You're a healer. Healer of the ages. Hmm. Yeah. You made an oath before you came here. Now you're understanding this is the mission. You're focused that you were targeted your whole life for one reason or the other. But guess what? It was meant to be. They were targeting you, wanting to live a life of whatever over, you know, at your expense. Well, they're going to find out the hard way. Angels, how are we ending this, please? I would like to end this reading. What's the final message? At 5149. What's the final message here, please? The Emperor, boss, something took back your power, or you could be dealing with one. You could be one. Mikhail, 42. Again, it's the six it's lovers, right? Like unto God. Uh, political authority gives safe tra travel and protects against conspiracies. So they conspired against you. You could be dealing with politicians. Chariot Michael. <laughs> Who is like God? You're moving forward. It's universally driven. This is victory. They're bringing back balance and accountability. Don't you worry. Radical acceptance here. It's awareness. And yes, they're shining a light on all of it. They could have said you were part of some sort of vice or corruptive. You know, they're, they're part of T-R-A-F-F-I-C-K-I-N-G, if you ask me. Okay? They do have a hand in it. Um, a perseverance, success, and conflict, overcoming adversity. And Ten of Cups, this is extreme happiness here. Could be a family or a group that's also involved, but this you're going towards your extreme happiness, your wish fulfillment, okay? Ten of Cups, 71. So you had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. You also had power. God, master of the universe, divine warrior, and you are, confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. Congratulations, Ace of Wands. This is new. Expansion and growth, but this is a new beginning for you, okay? Power as well control 30 it boils down to a three it could be divine feminine a mother and or yeah take it as applies okay the patient god you are very patient fertility and multiplicity protects against despair helps one be patient unfortunately i hate that word but yes i've heard it all my life be patient seven of wands you were very protected here they were trying to block you but this is justice okay they're trying to right now right now at this moment i i feel it they are trying to impede ju uh, justice it's um What's that word? I'm trying to think. Wow. Just drew a blank. Obstruction of justice. That's what they're doing right now. And they're going to get many charges, okay? Liberation. Deliverance from enemies, both visible and invisible. Good for you. Okay? You're healthy. It's going to bring, look at this, 41, 5. Uh, higher powers involved. Ha ha hell. So they laughed at you. Uh, the divine and or your spirit team is laughing at them because that's where they're going. Okay? God, the God of Trinity. Mission protects against slander and impious people. They slandered you. They really did the worst. You're gonna be able to sue. Let's let's roast them. Let's get roasting from the universe here. What's the final word on this, please, spirit? You do have a platform or some sort of platform, or you will have one. Take it as applies. Yep. Red flags. Somebody's noticing the red flags here. They look at you like a snack. So if they treat you like you're a snack, bye. Or a simp, bye. They're jealous. 
they, they want to be privileged. They're not working out of their shadow. And that's what the, the universe is saying. Get, mm, that's the final word on that one. Stay in your lane. Wow, they got roasted. The only, they, yeah, it's a big red flag, okay? The only care in temporary people and temporary things um, they take from people. They look at people like a snack. And they only take from people that they think they can um, bully, boss around, right? They're very jealous of people that have it together, right? They want to be privileged, but they're not. They could go around saying love and light and cry a lot to get pity and sympathy, taking pictures of themselves crying online for sympathy and donations. I just heard, wow. Yeah, they're, they're working out of the dark. Yeah, so. Anyhow, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I just thought it was funny. Hope you liked the read. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, take care.